Hello, Calc Programmer one here. I'm just going to show you a little thing I've been working on, a little project that's going on over at the XDA Developers Forums. Uh, this is my old phone, the uh, AT&T Galaxy Note i717, and since it's no longer my primary phone, since I got my Note 3, I decided to go ahead and try an Ubuntu Touch port to the device. Uh, a few other people have attempted it, and they have got mixed results. Um, we've basically been able to get the command line to come up. And so, if you have one of these devices, you're interested in an Ubuntu Touch port, and you would like to help out, uh, please visit the forum. We could definitely use the help. So this is where we are so far. And I have a USB keyboard connected via OTG, by the way. So as you can see, the kernel boots up and the text terminal works. Um, but as you can see, there's a bit of glitch on the screen refresh. And it does not get to a graphical interface whatsoever. But we do get a login prompt. Which you can see. There. The username and password are both phablet. And as you can see, we did log in. Uh, it's a full Ubuntu interface. Uh, there are no network interfaces available that really work. There's, I haven't tried putting my SIM card back in, but the wireless interface is nowhere to be found. So I have not been able to connect to a network, and there's no Bluetooth either. So if anyone can come up with a way to connect to the network and maybe uh, run an update, that would be great as well. And after so long, it does crash and completely locks up. So that would be the early port of Ubuntu Touch to the Galaxy Note i717. Thanks for watching.